My parents divorced when I was five. Dad emigrated to Australia. And once when I was a teenager, I went to Adelaide for Christmas. It was so hot. That depressing suburb. Dad had an Aussie twang and said he was going to buy a vineyard. I thought, whatever. I was 15 and moody. It was a crap holiday. And not even a koala park could compensate for the hate I felt towards my mother for making me go. One night, Dad cooked me chow mein, drank beer and told me about the love of his life. This inspiring man, he said. I so didn't care because I'd worked hard growing up to separate his being gay from him not being around. It's a big part of my identity. I forgot about the night with the chow mein, A-levels, medicine. It was so far away, he was hopeless at the time difference. And I just told myself, you know, a lot of people don't have dads. He left you, you don't need him. He's probably a psychopath or racist. Six weeks ago, he was shot. You know, the rally in Melbourne, the gunman. Six people were murdered. He was one of them. The night after we heard, something unlocked in my head. The chow mein night came flooding back to me. I could see his face, I remembered it all, it overwhelmed me. And I realised when Dad spoke about the love of his life, there was something alive in him. He was so alive. He was his first, he said. And we don't forget those. <laughs>